Hey guys, this is Ant for Games to Find, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a wood texture. Okay, so we'll just get started. We'll click File and New. Go this wood texture 1024 squared, and just leave the other settings as they are. Just press OK. Okay, so we're just going to unlock this and then create two extra layers. One's going to be the multiply layer. And we'll just set that to multiply. And the other one's going to be, not that one, it's going to be screen. So we'll just rename that to screen. And then bottom one to base color. So first thing we want to do is click the base color, hold Alt and press backspace. Let's come out of brush first, Alt and backspace. And then we want to select the multiply color and the screen color so the first one we'll do will be say this color and then the next will be darker so it will be let's go for a darker on this color so we'll go to our multiply press the brush come to settings enable scattering uh, we'll just up the size of the brush so, so we want just a little amount of scattering so it's kind of you know it's not straight so we'll just 24 percent will be fine everything else as it is and then if we just hold shift and just come straight down oops and then just do this all the way across like this oh when it, if you're doing this with a mouse always click sh click the left mouse button down and then hold shift otherwise if you hold sh keep holding shift from this stroke before this will happen so just click first then shift and then just keep coming down all the way through just go over oops yep that's right um come over the top just add a few more in just change oh wrong one just come into screen and then we'll add some more we just if you want to just do this, just come over it a bit more, just make the brush a bit bigger and come down, come for down some more, add some more stripes like with this, get brush a little bit bigger like so. Okay, so when that's done, it might not look like you know anything good at the minute, but. If we just come up to, actually if we just select one of these, press Ctrl A to select all, then Ctrl Shift C to copy all that's in view, and then Ctrl V, and it will create a whole new layer with just, you know, with what you've just copied. So if you select that, come to Filter, where is it, Render, and then Fibers. We've got a nice wood texture there. Might need to just mess around with a few of the settings. Like this, this should be good. And then just press OK. Okay, so there you go, there's a basic wood texture. Kind of looks like hardboard. Uh, th hardboard, that was not cardboard. Um, so you can just either keep this as it is, and if you want to just offset this make it tileable there you go it works with really well on the horizontal axis as you can see I've just uh, halved it 512 because it's a 1024 canvas so you can either leave it like that or we can do something be even better and add some floorboards in so we'll just 
put these in their own group. Control G. Call this wood. If I could spell wood. And then create a another two layers. Multiply. No, multiply. Here we go. And screen. Just group them and call this boards. I know. Floorboards. Here we go. And now, if we just come to the screen layer and we want to turn on the grid, so control and the at sign. Okay, so mine comes up like this, but if yours doesn't, come to edit, preferences guides grid and slices and then we want to change this from 2 to 128 i'm just going to change this back to 4 no so i'll leave this at 1 then press ok and it should show up like this so we want to come back into the brush settings turn off scattering completely and then in the multiply layer we want to just Create, I'm doing this, you can do this every one line if you like, but I'm going to do it every two lines. We want to change this mode for start to multiply, change this one to screen, and then create the lighter colour, like this, and then just come over these edges. Like this, just lower the opacity. No, nope, on the wrong part. We want to be doing this on. We'll just select the eraser. Whoop! Come on, here we go. Let's delete this. Come on to screen. No, multi yeah, it was on the right layer. I don't know why. I just did that. It was on the right layer. So if we just, we don't want that colour, we want the smaller, just want the line, thin line going down here, thinner than that, like that, that's fine, and then we want to do, do this to these, oh, like that. And then we want to select the bigger layer, sorry, the bigger brush. And then just, okay, we've done this the wrong way around. We'll just go over the, just go over this. There we go, that one. Nope, nope. And then the same with this one. And then the same with this one and just do the same down here. Oh, no, no, no. And then the same there. Okay, then when we've done that, we want to make the colour even darker. Make the brush smaller. Just zoom in a bit. Ignore that. I can't see this grid on. Yeah, we want to just make this colour a bit darker. This should be fine. And then we'll just... There we go, we just... I need to scroll out. Put the grid back on. There we go, just go across like this. Nope, that won't do that. And again, we'll do this bottom one. like that and if we just take the grid off you can see they look like floorboards but at the minute they are completely the wrong way so we just want to uh, turn these round so come to edit transform rotate 90 degrees clockwise there we go now they actually look like floorboards but we're just going to come over these again. So just turn the grid back on. 
and just check how they look. Yep, they look fine. And then we'll just do the same with these two. Like that. And then like that. We'll turn the grid off. Yep, that looks so good. I'm just gonna come down the sides just a little bit. So you can barely see it. Got to remember to take your finger off shift. Alright, okay, so they are the floorboards in. So we're going to, at the minute, they kind of look like floorboards, but we're just going to add some highlights. So if we come to screen, select the light colour, let's check. Yep, that's perfect. Just literally just come down the edges. Just just zoom in and look for the edge of the multiply line and that will basically give you your bevel that you want to just edit uh, just add the lines down so we just do it to the rest of these here we go Okay, so that is basically it. That's your floorboards. Let's just turn all these around so it's uh, going horizontal. There we go. Looks a lot better to me. But obviously, just I'm just going to come into, into the screens. Just redo this line because it's not quite on the edge. Like as you can see, so if we just come back into the brush and then just come over this edge again, like so. Okay, so don't be afraid to just, it's easy if you're using a pen tool to make it look, you know, not as straight as this, because this looks pretty straight, really. So if you want to just, I, I'm using a mouse instead of a pen a stylus so you know it's pretty pretty hard to get a natural looking wood with a a mouse might not be for some people but it is for me so if you've got a pen a uh, tablet graphics tablet it's going to be a lot easier but that's basically it you know if you just come into the screens just select these that's literally it, just you, you random lines, you don't have to do them exactly like this, you don't have to even have to do them this colour, but obviously it's, it's wood, so, you know, it's, it's up to you what colour wood you want, really. But I'm just going to turn all these back on, like this, and there you go, that is your wood texture. Feel free to obviously do whatever size you want, this was just uh, 1024 because of the sake of the tutorial. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you did like this, then please leave a like, comment and subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials. Thanks for watching. <laughs>